Hello, I am so happy I got a hold of you. Well, week two of Elden Ring, and oh my goodness, am I changing my tune on this game big time. Now bear in mind, at this point I've put close to 30, 40 hours into it. It's hard to know because sometimes I'm suspending play, but the game keeps track whenever it's open. But wow. So... It did take a little bit of work. I did some power leveling because one thing I will say is if you're going to play this game, make sure you research the starting classes and start with a build that you know you want to play with. I I picked a class that was more meant for caster builds, which is not how I like to play these games. And I spent a good few hours grinding up nine levels to use a certain weapon that my boy Rewind Mike was using that I now call the Rewind Mike Sword. And after getting access to that sword, holy crap, did the game open up. I was starting to do damage to enemies. I destroyed Margit. I destroyed Godric. And just the whole game is just, just incredible. Like, it's one of those things where the first, the first few hours, yeah, it just feels like another run-of-the-mill Dark Souls. But once you get your, your, your bearings, once you start understanding the combat, like, it is very deliberate. This is not something that's going to be for everyone. And it really wasn't for me until until recently. And I don't know if it's just because I got the patience. I mean, there was a night I stayed up till 4 a.m. killing a blue dragon. And then I, after that, I went and killed the starting zone dragon, and it was a cakewalk. And it's just incredible moments like that where you're overcoming something, you're achieving something that you just can't... You can't quantify in a lot of games these days. And yeah, that's why these are so successful and so popular. For people like me that enjoy that difficult grind and then overcoming and getting that wave of euphoria, there's nothing else like it on the market these days. There really isn't. It's why I love that game Fury so much. It's why I enjoy these difficult games like Hyperlight Drifter or Unsighted or things to that end. It's just grinding, beating your head against a wall, and then overcoming... It's really satisfying. And now I'm at the point in the game where it's just, it's kind of like the first time I picked up Skyrim where it's like, all right, I'm just going to wander off. Oh my God, what is that in the distance? Let's investigate. And that it opens up a whole new world and essentially a oh, seven, eight hours of gameplay. Like that happened today while I was recording footage for this review is I was just wandering around. Uh, yesterday I had uh, met this dude on the overworld who said, go and kill all these people in his castle. So I did. And then I came back to him and he said, all right, you will be my knight. And I was on, his, on my way to be his knight. And then I just saw a, a door that was open. And I'm like, what is that? So I step on it and this elevator goes down. I'm like, oh, it's a catacomb. And it keeps going down forever. And then I find myself in this crazy underworld that I had no idea existed. And now not only is the overworld map a thing, the underworld map is a thing. Are you kidding me? There's more to this game? Like, it's huge. Literally, I could be playing this for the next 70, 80, 90 hours and still have things to do. There's hidden bosses everywhere. There's things everywhere. It's it's the feeling that Breath of the Wild gave, but it's a lot more satisfying than just finding a Korok seed or finding a new shrine, which has a cool puzzle in it. But it's so satisfying finding that puzzle and then having a very difficult boss encounter. And yeah, you might get an item that's not that needed. And it's a little bit of a collection. It's like, I'm just using the same weapon, but... You are finding these ultimate badass weapons that, oh dang, you know, if I level up my build now, I can use it down the line. Is it going to be better than the sword I got? I don't know. I don't know. But man, 40 hours in, I can see why Elden Ring got a 10. And it is, it's so hard to recommend though, because you, it, just like Sekiro, you have to get to this, this stasis point where it's worth playing. And a lot of people aren't going to be able to do that. But if you do... Wow, are you in for a rewarding experience that for me, I don't know when this is going to end. I might actually do the new game plus because I'm having such a great time. I'm not playing triangle strategy right now. I was looking forward to that since last year when it was announced and I'm playing Elden Ring instead. So yeah, incredible game. Uh, I got to agree with the 10 right now. We'll see. We'll see what happens next week. But man, am I having a great time. And if you are can stand up to the difficulty you're going to find yourself such a rewarding experience highly recommend picking it up and i'm playing on the ps4 pro it's fine uh the horseback battles get a little difficult a little bit of slow down with those dragon battles but other than that it's a champ so yeah pick it up and play it anyways it was so nice getting a hold of you guys take care